Our journey to uncover the origins of chocolate milk begins in Mesoamerica with the ancient Mayan civilization, where cacao beans were regarded as a precious commodity. The Mayans revered cacao for its spiritual significance and prepared a bitter drink by grinding cacao beans and mixing them with water and various spices. Little did they know that this humble beverage would lay the foundation for the creation of chocolate milk today. Centuries later, another remarkable civilization emerged, the Aztecs. The Aztecs adopted the tradition of drinking this cacao beverage from the Mayans, but added their unique twist by adding honey and drinking it at room temperature, whereas the Mayans often enjoyed it hot. It is said that Montezuma II stockpiled cacao from those that he conquered, using it to drink up to 50 golden goblets of the chocolate elixir a day. He insisted it was for the select few, himself, nobles, and royalty. Those willing to fight were also deemed worthy of this magical liquid. Aztec warriors were powered by cocoa. Drinking chocolate was a regular part of their military rations. Every soldier on a campaign received ground cacao pressed into wafers, ready to mix into water for the extra boost they needed to defeat their enemies. However, it wasn't until the arrival of the Spanish conquistadors that the secret of chocolate was unveiled to the rest of the world. In the 16th century, the Spanish explorer Hernán Cortés encountered the Aztecs and discovered their love for cacao. Sensing the immense potential of this newfound treasure, Cortés brought the cacao beans back to Spain, along with the knowledge of preparing the invigorating beverage. The Spaniards, however, found the bitter taste unappealing. Determined to make it more palatable, they began experimenting with different ingredients and methods of mixing until they found something they liked, but they decided to keep it a secret in hopes of monopolizing the delicious and versatile cacao plant for the rest of the world. It was in the early 1700s that a breakthrough occurred. According to the Natural History Museum in Britain, that credit goes to Sir Hans Sloan, an Irish botanist. The story goes that Sloan spent some time in Jamaica in the early 1700s, where the local people gave him cocoa to drink. He found it nauseous, but by mixing it with milk, made it more palatable, according to the museum. When he then returned to England, Sloan brought the milk and cocoa mixture with him, and for many years his recipe was sold as medicine in various apothecaries in the area. But as with most things, the people who get the historical credit for inventing something probably didn't actually invent it. According to many historians, the Jamaicans were brewing a hot beverage from shavings of freshly harvested cacao boiled with milk and cinnamon for as far back as 1494, and more than likely even further than that. Considering chocolate had been known to humans as far back as 350 BC, it's much more likely that Jamaica had some form of chocolate milk already, and then Sloan is credited with the invention because he was the one that spread it on an international scale when he returned to the UK unlike Spain, who wanted to keep it a secret for monetary purposes. But as the years passed, chocolate milk evolved and made its way across borders. In the 18th century, the Industrial Revolution changed the production of chocolate. Innovations in processing techniques made it possible to produce chocolate on a larger scale by creating a powdered form, bringing its cost down and making it accessible to a wider audience. Marry that with 19th century significant advancements in the dairy industry, leading to the mass production of milk, and you've got a recipe for chocolate milk popularity. Then, in the 1820s, the Cadbury brothers purchased the chocolate milk recipe from Sloan and used it to create a lucrative drinking chocolate business, still in business to this day. This development saw the availability of affordable chocolate, not as a medicine any longer, but as a pleasure product, and paved the way for the widespread popularity of chocolate milk among the general public. In the early 20th century, pasteurization techniques improved milk safety and shelf life, making it an easier to acquire ingredient for chocolate milk. In the United States, the innovative use of automated milk processing and bottling machines further contributed to the rise of chocolate milk as a beloved beverage. And in 1926, we saw Hershey release the first chocolate syrup to be used for chocolate milk. And then, around 20 years later, in 1948, Nesquik would release a powdered chocolate milk mix. Although they weren't the first powdered chocolate milk mix, they would definitely become the most popular as the decades followed. As the world entered the 21st century, the popularity of chocolate milk continued to soar. Recognizing its potential, the beverage industry embraced chocolate milk, providing convenient, ready-to-drink options in stores and schools. Its status as a favorite childhood treat was solidified. 
and athletes even began recognizing its value as a post-workout recovery drink due to its natural sugar and protein content. But today, chocolate milk stands as a testament to the enduring love affair between humans and this delectable elixir. It has transcended time and culture, becoming a symbol of comfort and indulgence. From its humble origins in ancient Mesoamerica to its widespread availability in modern day supermarkets, chocolate milk has woven itself into the tapestry of our culinary history. As we conclude our journey through the history of chocolate milk, we're reminded of the power of innovation and evolution of taste. The fusion of cacao, milk, and sugar has sparked joy and delight for countless generations, serving as a reminder that the simplest pleasures can often leave the most lasting impressions. So, the next time you savor a chilled glass of chocolate milk, remember the rich heritage and captivating story that lies behind each velvety sip. I'll catch you guys in the next one with another Tasting Through Time. See you then. Cheers.